99. On the 9th of October 1985, the decomposed body of a 30 to 40 year old white male was recovered from the River Thames at Wandsworth. He was 167 centimetres tall, of a thin build with receding black hair and he had some facial stubble. It was noted that he had a scar on his nose. He was wearing white boots with green rims, beige socks, blue cord trousers, a brown zip-up bomber jacket and blue-grey jersey with a red stripe. 98 A male aged approximately 50 years old was found collapsed on the pavement opposite Arding and Obbs in Clapham Junction on the 24th of November 1985. He was 167 centimetres tall, white, of a thin build, wearing a dark brown wig and had a full beard. He wore black trousers, a green knitted jumper, a dark overcoat and a red sock found on his right foot. He had the appearance of a vagrant. 97 On the 2nd of December 1985, a 60 to 75 year old white male was hit by a motorcycle when crossing Talgarth Road. He was 175 centimetres tall, of a stocky build with receding grey hair. He wore a London borough of Hammersmith and Fulham donkey jacket, a dirty white shirt, a grey sweater, a dark pinstripe suit jacket and brown lace-up footwear. He had in his possession Union and Banham keys. 96 a 170 centimetre tall white male aged between 50 and 70 years old was found in Burdett Street on the 16th of January 1986. He was of a thin build with receding grey hair, blue coloured eyes and had facial stubble. He had two scars, one on his face and the other on his scalp. He wore a blue hooded parka jacket, grey hospital type pyjamas, a blue German hospital type jumper, a St. Leonard's Hospital t-shirt and brown trousers. He had died from a serious heart condition and was believed to have been a vagrant. 95. On the 24th of January, 1986, the body of a white male aged between 45 and 59 years old was found caught on mooring lines at West India Pier at Limehouse Reach. He was 172 centimetres tall of a large build with grey and black hair and had brown coloured eyes. He was lacking teeth and wearing size 9 brown lace-up footwear, grey or green pattern socks, green trousers with blue braces, a blue-brown wool Marks & Spencers v-neck jumper and a 16 and a half inch Marks & Spencers cream shirt. Fragments of a letter was found in his possession. It is believed he had died the previous two days. 94 an approximately 56-year-old male was found lying dead in Deptford Broadway on the 10th of February 1986. He was 172 centimetres tall, of a medium build, with grey collar-length hair, brown coloured eyes and had a full beard. He was wearing a light brown duffel coat, grey trousers, black socks and a red and white striped belt. He was possibly named George Powell. 93 on the 2nd of April 1986, a six-year-old white male was found unconscious in the street and was taken to hospital. He was suffering from hypothermia and a groin injury. He later died in hospital and had a vagrant appearance. He was 167 centimetres tall, of a thin build with blue eyes. He was lacking teeth and was wearing a dirty brown pullover, a very dirty white shirt and black ragged trousers. 92. The decomposed body of a 45-year-old male was found on the railway embankment below Waterfall Bridge at Tooting High Street on the 17th of July 1986. He was 152 centimetres tall, of a medium build, with a bald head and had facial stubble. He was wearing a blue-grey cloth trousers, a white vest and blue socks. It was noted he was lacking some teeth. He had been dead for up to two months prior to being discovered and was believed to have been a vagrant. 91 On the 16th of August 1986, a female was found collapsed in High Street, suffering with a suspected stroke. She later died in hospital. She was aged between 60 and 70 years old, 
white, 160 centimeters tall, of a medium build with straight gray hair and gray colored eyes. She was lacking some teeth. She wore a green overcoat, a blue dress and trainers. She also had a letter and a bunch of keys. It is possible her name was Maud and she was a vagrant. 90. The body of a white 50 year old male was found in a manual churchyard on the 27th of September 1986. He was 177 centimetres tall, of a thin build, with untidy brown hair and hazel coloured eyes. He wore a blue jumper, a brown suit jacket and trousers, a blue shirt and red slippers. A bottle with medication was found in his possession. 89 22nd of December 1986, the body of a 182 centimetre tall white male was found in the loft of a derelict cafe in Tower Hamlets. He was between 50 and 60 years old, of a medium build with grey and dark brown hair. He had a mole near his right eye, a scar on his left hand, some gold teeth and some crowns. He wore a blue grey suit jacket and trousers, a blue shirt, brown shoes, blue check socks, a blue striped tie, a grey check scarf and a grey brown Macintosh. 88. The body of a white male aged between 50 and 60 years old was found in the grounds of Vauxhall Park in Lambeth on the 31st of January 1987. He was 177 centimetres tall, of a stocky build with collar length grey hair. He wore grey sports jacket, white shirt, black shoes and grey trousers with turn ups and braces. His appearance suggested he was not a vagrant. 87. The 6th of May 1987, a 177 centimetre tall white male was killed in a road traffic accident on Houston Road in Islington. He was aged between 60 and 75 years old, of a large build with short grey hair and blue coloured eyes. He was wearing a blue jumper, a green jumper, three pairs of black trousers, a dirty grey overcoat, a dirty blue torn overcoat, a grey shirt, black shoes, a flat cap and a belt. He was also wearing three watches and had several Polish newspapers in his possession. 86. The body of a 175 centimetre tall white male was found in the lower pool of the River Thames at Free Trade Wharf on the 2nd of December 1987. He was aged between 45 and 55 years old, of a large build with grey and brown hair and also had a moustache. He was wearing a white crew neck t-shirt, a peps white shirt, a cream beige striped long sleeve cardinal make crew neck jumper, a waist length blue vinyl jacket, a brown vinyl jacket, a fleece jacket, yellow white underpants, brown cord trousers, white socks and black leather brogues. 190 pounds including five ulster were found up the sleeves of one of his jackets. 85. On the 29th of December 1987, the body of a white male was found in the River Thames at King's Reach. He was aged between 50 and 60 years old, of a thin build with receding black hair. It was noted that he had a scar on his face and had a broken nose. He was wearing black trousers, a beige zip up cardigan, a cream shirt, black socks, and brown suede shoes. He was carrying red clip on braces. 84. The body of a white male was found in the River Thames near Barking Reach on the 7th of January 1988. He was aged between 35 and 60 years old and was between 182 and 187 centimetres tall. He was of a large build with receding grey hair and had a moustache. He wore a green striped shirt, a blue tie with a red motif, blue socks and size 10 brown lace-up footwear. He was also wearing a gents gold coloured seconda watch with a leather strap. It is believed he had been in the water for at least three weeks. 83. On the 29th of January 1988, the body of a 172 centimetre tall white male was found in the street sitting against the wall by a paper stand outside Allgate East Underground Station. He was aged between 60 and 70 years old, of a thin build, with straight dark brown hair and brown coloured eyes. 
He wore a brown zip-up striped cardigan, a brown barber overcoat, grey trousers, a red scarf, black gloves and black leather shoes. He was also wearing a black plastic digital watch. 82. The burnt body of an approximately 48-year-old white male was found in the ground floor room after a serious fire in Redmond's Road on the 4th of February 1988. He was 172 centimetres tall and of a thin build. 81. On the 13th of March 1988, the decomposed body of a 30 to 40 year old dark European male was found in the River Thames under Waterloo Bridge. He was 170 centimetres tall, of a medium build with curly black hair and had a moustache. It was documented he had a surgical scar on the right side of his abdomen and a scar on his nose. He wore a brown St. Michael's jacket, black trousers, brown hiking boots, a grey citizen sweatshirt and a blue vest. Found on him was a Swiss army knife and a key on a boot lace. 80. The decomposed body of a 40 to 70 year old white male was found in the cellar of a house in Westminster on the 15th of March 1988. He was between 172 and 177 centimetres tall, of a thin build, with short white hair and had a full beard. He was lacking some teeth. He wore a blue jumper, a beige jumper, grey trousers and white socks. It's believed he had died at the beginning of March from a pre-existing illness. 79. On the 16th of March 1988, a white male dived under the wheels of a coach in Knightsbridge. He was estimated to be approximately 16 to 36 years old, between 172 and 182 centimetres tall, of a thin build with short dark brown hair and brown coloured eyes. He wore a burgundy leather jacket, a brown tweed shirt, a burgundy undershirt, a green jumper with cream flecks, blue jeans with turn-ups and a hole in the right knee and black leather shoes. He may have been living rough but was well nourished. 78 of a 149 to 175 centimetre tall white male were found in a burnt out car behind Villiers Road on the 9th of June 1989. He was estimated to be between 25 and 40 years old and of a thin build. He was wearing a fleece lined jacket with elastic cuffs and blue thick cotton overalls, possibly of a denim type material. The car had been there for approximately five weeks and the fire had started due to discarded smoking materials. He had died from smoke inhalation and also had a high level of alcohol in his blood. 77. On the 18th of June 1989, the decomposed body of a 20 to 45 year old oriental male was found floating in the River Thames near HMS Belfast. He was 177 centimetres tall, of a thin build with straight black hair. He was wearing a beige long sleeve summer wine sweater, a BHS black t-shirt, influence utility khaki fatigue type trousers, white M&S boxer shorts, white cotton sports socks, white Olympic trainers with blue markings and a blue leather belt. He was also wearing a Casio F14 watch and had Russell Sherline stainless steel scissors with red handles in his pocket. A pair of pale tortoiseshell pilot style glasses which were missing the left lens were in his rear pocket. It's believed he had been in the water for approximately three days. 76. A male's decomposed body was found in the basement of a partially vacant premise on the 25th of November 1989. He was approximately 50 to 60 years old, white and between 185 and 190 centimetres tall. He wore a black overcoat, blue Lee Cooper jeans and black suede lace-up brogues. It was documented that he may have had back problems as he had a stoop. 75. On the 24th of January 1990, a white 50 to 60 year old white male was found dead in a sleeping bag in the corner of Trafalgar Square. He was 175 centimetres tall, of a thin build, bold with a full beard and grey coloured eyes. It was noted that he had a deformity on the right side of his chest. He wore a brown overcoat, 
a white shirt, brown trousers, brown shorts and boots. He had died of a heart attack. He was known to be a local vagrant with the possible name of Tom. A 25-year-old white male was found hanging under Kew Railway Bridge on the 10th of July 1990. He was between 173 and 175 centimetres tall, of a thin build, with brown coloured hair in a ponytail, had some facial stubble and blue coloured eyes. It was noted that he had a mole on his lip and one on his scalp. He was wearing a green jumper with an eagle motif which was noted to be worn inside out, a white t-shirt, blue jeans, a blue black woolly hat and black Doc Martens footwear. 73. On the 25th of July 1990, a dark European female aged between 35 and 50 years old was found after falling from a balcony at Harper House. She was 157 centimetres tall, of a medium build with dark brown shoulder length hair and brown coloured eyes. She was wearing a white cardigan, a yellow t-shirt, beige flip flops and a blue skirt with a white background and a blue floral pattern. A red hanky and white rimmed Ray-Ban style sunglasses were found in her possession. It was noted she may have been a vagrant. 72. A 20 to 35 year old white male's decomposed body was found hanging on the first floor of a, of a disused warehouse on the 6th of August 1990. He was between 167 and 172 centimetres tall, of a medium build, with very long ginger hair and also had a full beard. He had a tattoo of a flower on his arm and had a broken nose. He was wearing a short sleeve black shirt, green jeans, green tracksuit bottoms worn under his jeans, knitted socks, black boxer shorts, a red, white and blue hopped t-shirt and size eight boots. He had in his possession a leather pendant, tobacco papers and a picture of two young girls aged approximately two in a plastic sleeve. 71. On the 10th of September 1990, the body of a white 167 centimetre tall male was found in Longwater in Kensington Gardens. He was approximately 50 to 60 years old, of a medium build with receding dark brown hair, facial stubble and blue coloured eyes. He was lacking some teeth and had a scar on his left arm and brow. He was wearing grey trousers, a grey and blue checked hymn jacket, open white shirt with a slight pattern and brown winnet shoes. 70. A 65 to 75 year old white male was found in an alleyway off Sidcup Road on the 11th of December 1990. He was 177 centimetres tall, of a thin build with straight grey hair, hazel eyes and had a moustache. It was noted he had a scar on the right side of his abdomen and was lacking some teeth. He was wearing a red Marks and Spencers dressing gown, paisley red and grey Merck pyjamas and black slip-on footwear. He had died shortly before due to heart failure. 69. On the 12th of April 1991, the body of a white 170 centimetre tall male was recovered from the River Thames near Victoria Deepwater Terminal. He was aged between 50 and 60 years old of a medium build with receding grey hair. It was documented he had a scar on the right side of his abdomen. He was wearing a black cord St Michael's jacket, a round knitted woolen beige jumper, a blue and white striped shirt, a blue floral Liberty cravat, blue Little Woods cord trousers and size six to seven brown Clark's lace up footwear. He had a Yale key, two suitcase keys on a metal ring, a packet of old Holborn tobacco, a packet of drum, a packet of cigarette papers, a black comb, a ballpoint pen and five pence cash in his possession. 68. The body of a 45 to 50 year old white male was found in Riddleston Woods on the 9th of June, 1991. He was 182 centimetres tall, of a medium build with dyed auburn hair. It was noted he was lacking some teeth, had a mark on his face and a surgical scar on the right side of his abdomen. 
He was wearing a black leather jacket, a navy blue cardigan, grey trousers, a light blue shirt, brown dock sider shoes, a red kipper tie and a navy blue jumper with yellow pinstripes. He had a pair of headphones in his possession. He had died from an overdose and a suicide note was found which stated it was his first time in Kenley since 1952 and was signed H. 67. On the 14th of August 1991, a 35-year-old male was found unconscious in the street in Brent. He was 170 centimetres tall, of a medium build with receding black hair and brown coloured eyes. He wore a dark blue t-shirt, blue tracksuit trousers, black and white trainers and white socks. It's believed he had collapsed whilst out jogging. He was taken to hospital but was dead on arrival. 66. A 20 to 50 year old white male was found in a derelict building in Lewisham on the 17th of November 1991. He was 167 centimetres tall, of a thin build with shoulder length brown hair. He was wearing a grey jacket, a blue jumper and black Roski denim jeans. There was evidence he had started a fire to keep warm. 65. On the 26th of January 1992, a 175 centimetre tall white male was found collapsed outside Embankment Tube Station. He was aged between 55 and 60 years old, of a thin build with short white hair, hazel coloured eyes and had a full beard. He was wearing and in possession of size 14 black shoes, black gloves, green gloves, two blue striped kipper ties, a glaze grey Macintosh, a 16 inch collar CNA white shirt, a blue Burton's overcoat, a St. Michael's blue raincoat, a Darley showerproof Macintosh, a Topshop black wool coat, grey trousers, blue socks, a blue woolly hat, a navy blue woolly hat, a blue and grey top coat, black woolen gloves and Oxford size 14 lace-up shoes. Other items were found on him such as a Dixon small green old style radio with a wash and go logo tortoiseshell spectacles, a prescription dated the 15th of July 1971, a grey NFA luncheon voucher, a J Priest Christmas card, a postcard from Germany and a large amount of change, believed to be the proceeds from begging. He was taken to hospital but died on arrival. 64. The decomposed body of a 182 centimetre tall white male was recovered from the River Thames at Wandsworth on the 24th of March 1992. He was aged between 35 and 65 years old, of a medium build with grey and dark brown hair and had some facial stubble. He was wearing a size 15 Provia button up brown shirt, brown cord trousers size 38 inch waist and 31 inch leg and two toned brown slip on footwear. He was found wearing a Timex analog face brown strapped leather watch. 63. On the 27th of May 1992, a 60-year-old white male was found collapsed outside a public house in Tatchbrook Street after a heart attack. He was 177 centimetres tall, of a thin build with short grey hair and had a moustache. He was wearing a white shirt grey trousers and black shoes which were in poor condition. He also had a carrier bag which contained a pair of spectacles, a tin of tobacco and two newspapers. He was taken to hospital and passed away on the 25th of June 1992. 62. A 180 centimetre tall white male was found lying in Peckham High Street on the 13th of June 1993. He was aged between 55 and 60 years old, of a thin build with collar length grey hair, blue coloured eyes and had a full beard. He had a scar on his abdomen. He was wearing a pair of beige trousers, a checked jacket, a burgundy square pattern shirt, black boots and had two walking sticks in his possession. He suffered a fit whilst waiting for the ambulance and died at the hospital on the 14th of June 1993. He died from a fractured skull and a heart attack. He was believed to have been a local man and had been previously seen in the local area. He was a vagrant and used two walking sticks. 61. 
2nd of July 1993, the body of a 25 to 35 year old white male was found floating in the River Thames near Shane Walk. He was 172 centimetres tall, of a thin build with short dark brown hair and brown coloured eyes. He was wearing a blue padded jacket with purple buttons, a black t-shirt, black shoes with Royal Mail written on the side, blue hardware make jeans, size 29 inch waist and 32 inch leg, and a pair of boxer shorts. He had on him a miniature Bible, which was typically given away for free at tube stations and hostels. He had died approximately two days earlier and was possibly a vagrant. 60. Following a fatal fire at Fountain Court on the 13th of February 1994, the body of a 175 centimetre tall white male was found. He was aged between 40 and 50 years old, of a medium build with short brown hair, blue eyes and facial stubble. He had a love tattoo on the finger of his left hand, a Yuli or Yudia tattoo on a finger on his right hand, a six to seven inch zigzag scar on his left forearm, a one and a half inch scar under his chin and a surgical scar on his scalp. He was wearing black and navy blue trousers, a black and white flecked jumper, an orange shirt, brown high tech trainers, white socks, a brown woolen scarf and an overcoat. Found in his possession were a box of matches and three pounds and 16 pence in cash. He was known to have a London accent, was believed to have been homeless and a heavy drinker. 59. 16th of February, 1994, a 165 centimetre tall Afro-Caribbean male was found in an open cupboard in Bury Walk. He was approximately 30 to 35 years old of a thin build with short black hair, brown coloured eyes and had a goatee. He was wearing a red puffer jacket, green canvas trousers, white trainers and brown trousers and a grey jacket were found in a sports bag. He had £10 in cash, a red notebook and a Ladbrokes book of racing tips. The red notebook was in the name Vincent at Poroff, although the handwriting was not clear. He had the appearance of a semi-vagrant. 58. The white 175 cm tall male was found on Hampstead Heath on the 17th of February 1994. He was aged between 40 and 50 years old, of a thin build with brown wavy hair. He wore brown boots, two pairs of blue jeans, a white vest, a black t-shirt, black shirt, a green bomber jacket and a beige jacket. He was also wearing a broken digital watch. He was sleeping rough or camping and is believed to have died due to the inclement weather. He was found with a sleeping bag, a small amount of cannabis, a tent and a birthday card to Pat from Jeff. 57. On the 31st of May 1994, a 30 to 35 year old male's remains were found in a gravel pit in Chertsey Road in Feltham. He was 172 centimetres tall and of a medium build. He was wearing brown twill trousers, size 9 tan brown leather shoes with black acid resistant soles and a pair of BHS boxer shorts size 31 to 33 inch waist. It is believed he had been dead for approximately 1 to 2 years. 56. A 175 cm tall white male was found covered in a sleeping bag in Gower Street in Camden on the 4th of July 1994. He was aged between 40 and 50 years old, with grey collar length hair and had a moustache. He was wearing a very dirty brown shirt and very dirty black trousers and had a vagrant appearance. 55. 20th of July 1994, a 25 to 35 year old dark European male booked into the King's Hotel. He was 180 centimetres tall, of a medium build with short brown hair and brown coloured eyes. It was noted he was wearing size eight and a half pigskin shoes and wore a black Casio watch. Found in the room was a blue canvas holder full of clothes, a London transport map, a scalpel, a heating element and a London transport ticket issued at Paddington. He was booked under the name of Mr. John and committed suicide by cutting an artery. He died later in hospital and did leave a suicide note. 54. 
A 173 cm tall white male was found on a park bench near Admiralty Arch on the 23rd of August 1994. He was aged between 40 and 50 years old, of a thin build, with shoulder length grey hair, blue eyes and had a full beard. He was lacking a big toe on his left foot. He was wearing brown trousers and black shoes. He had died from a heart attack and appeared to be a vagrant. 53. 17th of January 1996, a body of a 40-year-old Afro-Caribbean male was recovered from the River Lee at Pickett's Lock. He was 172 centimetres tall, of a stocky build with a dark brown afro, brown coloured eyes and a goatee. He wore a beige jumper, a EZ gear black t-shirt, blue jeans, jogging bottoms, adidas trainers and a belt with half inch decorative plates. He wore a yellow metal ring and a chain. It's believed he had died approximately three days earlier. 52. 35 year old white male vagrant was found lying on a bench in Pond Street on the 17th of November 1996. He was 177 centimetres tall, of a medium build with grey collar length hair, blue eyes and had a full beard. He wore stained green tweed trousers, a green army style trench coat, five dirty jumpers and white worn trainers. A red sleeping bag and food items were found with him. He was conscious when found but was extremely cold, shivering and was unable to speak or stand unaided. The staff from the hospital attended and admitted him to accident and emergency where he later died of hypothermia. 51. On the 29th of May 1997, the body of a 177 cm tall white male was found floating in the River Thames. He was approximately 25 years old, of a thin build with brown collar length hair. He wore a black long sleeved XL cotton t shirt with a skull pattern on the chest, a black short sleeve Pantera t shirt, black Wrangler jeans, size 30 inch waist and 30 inch leg, black socks size 8 black Reebok trainers, white underwear with a dragon motif and a black leather belt with a brass type buckle. It's believed he had been in the water for approximately one week. 50. The body of a 163 cm tall Afro-Caribbean female was found by a member of the public in a derelict house on the 16th of June 1997. She was aged between 25 and 50 years old, of a medium build with short black hair. She was wearing black or dark blue denim trousers, black tracksuit trousers, a green sweatshirt with writing on the front and size six black and white coasters deck shoes. Also found on her was a tropical zone medium sized white t-shirt, a small Ravenstone primary school white t-shirt, two grey long socks and a small blue ski jacket with green flashes on the lapels and sleeves. It's believed she had died in September 1996. If you have any information on any of these cases we've covered, then please visit missingpersons.police.uk forward slash en hyphen gb forward slash case hyphen search forward slash m2b64. Thank you.